Cast Attackers. Now I can cast Larvendale. Let's go. Swing in, kill his Vivian. We're doing it. We are finally freaking doing it. And let's just um, Teferi up, plus one, end the turn. But I think that might be it. Yes! Yes! We did it! Divide Visitation! What's up, Slayers? Thanks so much for joining me and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Today we're going to be playing some standard in MTG Arena, and I'm going to be trying out something I never play. Control. I'm usually more of a mid-range type of player, and I prefer to be active over reactive, but with my take on it, it should be pretty fun. Just wanted to thank you all again for checking out the vid, and please remember to smash the like and subscribe buttons below. It's a great way to support my channel, and best of all, it's completely free. Without further ado, let's play some Magic the Gathering. All right, folks, today we are playing some standard MTG arena, and I'm trying out some Azorius control. As you can see here, it has most of the standard shell of your typical Azorius control deck in standard. I didn't really reference like a strict deck list for this, just kind of what I see and what I kind of have experienced playing against. And I've got um, you know, like a shit ton of counter spells, which is in my experience when I played against control decks, it's just like everything gets countered or destroyed. Uh, speaking of destroyed, I do have the um, pretty big board sweeper suite in time wipe, planar cleansing, and realm cloaked giant. And then we, of course, have some of the finishers when we finally do control or sweep a board. You have some gadwicks for card draw. My little spin on control involves using this card, divine visitation, which allows you to turn the turn your creature tokens into four for angels with vigilance so i mean that's pretty fun and that'll make the whole control experience pretty fun for me um you mix that with dawn of hope um, which allows you to create some one one white soldier tokens with lifelink not only that um dawn of hope allows you to uh, draw cards whenever you gain life so there's a lot of synergies between simply just creating a token blocking getting cards but not only that divine visitation also is pretty cool with Castle Ardenvale, so you pay four and you can start tapping away and creating some 4 4 angels as well. Dawn of Hope has some great synergy with the life gain lands. You put in a Tranquil Cove with two lands already in play, as long, uh, along with your Dawn of Hope, and you can just start, you know, drawing cards. Anyway, let's try it out and let's see what we can do with some divine visitation control in standard. All right, everyone, welcome back. Today we are playing some standard control in mtg arena i've become the very thing i loathe now you have become the very thing you swore to destroy my little spin on it is to include cards like dawn of hope and divine visitation and uh just seeing if we can control the board and um and see if we can pump out some 4-4 angel tokens this looks pretty decent so we'll go ahead and keep it might be able to get a dawn of hope turn two um, and then on turn three, I can maybe draw a card with Dawn of Hope or hold up two for negate. I'm really not sure about the right lines when it comes to control, um, since I don't play it at all. Um, but it should be pretty interesting having a couple of counter spells and time wipe to clear the board if necessary is, um, is going to be pretty interesting. I really love Dawn of Hope. It gives me that whole um, Trail of Crumbs vibe. Um, you know, because life gain is as difficult as it is, a lot this card has built-in life gain basically. You can chump block with these 1-1 one, one, uh, soldiers with lifelink. Um, we'll go ahead and play We'll go ahead and play the Tranquil Cove. That way we can have a white mana for next turn. And uh, and then I will play Dawn of Hope um, or hold up a negate, depending on how I feel the opponent is playing um, but that way on turn three we can tranquil cove draw a card with dawn of hope but um we may just hold three mana up and wait with no escape as well i don't know what it is about control decks i think it's just being so wait and see and reactive just kind of kind of a pain um it's a little bit slow paced games go a little bit longer so that's like not necessarily my style of play when i'm trying to play magic i like to just you know go right in i like to like my brain to be moving a mile a minute 
Okay, opponent just timed out, so no lands for you. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna go and play an island, and I will play a Dawn of Hope. That way, I have options next turn. I can I can Tranquil Cove, activate Dawn of Hope, draw a card, or I can play an island and just hold up like no escape and negate and just see what's up. Um, but either way, it's looking like a pretty solid start, hopefully. I think opponent is just not here. <laughs> okay, well, clearly he's not here because he just discarded a land and hasn't played lands. Um, so what we'll go ahead and do is play a Tranquil Cove and we'll go and auto pay. Get some card draw. I'm I'm pretty cool with that. Especially with the opponent not being here. So I can basically just say fuck it all. I could do anything. I could play opt and negate my own opt. And I still have a pretty good chance. But it looks like he's just going to time out. And this is going to be my first control game experience. Maybe the opponent was just like, ah, Azorius control. Fuck my life. I'm out. Salty ropes down to the wire. Great match. We did it. Divine Visitation, Control, and Standard 1. Opponents 0. A.A. Ron? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Now take your ass on down to Oshag Hennessy's office right now and tell him exactly what you did! Alright, um, we can keep this one. This one has a way to kind of swing tempo and counter, so we'll hold on to it. We got a lot of lands. I uh, am going to play an island. Pass a turn. Pass it to A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron plays Temple of Malady. Scries to the bottom. Cool. I'll play a another island and pass a turn. Okay, opponent plays a Paradise Druid, so he's starting to ramp. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and play a another island and just pass a turn. There's really not much I can do. I can't target the Paradise Druid with Callous Dismissal since it has Hexproof. Okay, opponent swings in for two. Good deal. Um, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just no escape the Wildborn Preserver, and then I can maybe Callous Dismissal um, his Paradise Druid. So he kind of has to start over on his ramp plan. So we will do that. E yes, do we do that? Yeah, we play planes. Okay. And then opponent concedes. Wow. No wonder control players love playing fucking control, because like a people just auto concedes. It's been a pretty good experience so far, not gonna lie guys. But unfortunately, I do know my opponent's pain as soon as they see white and blue lands, or even just blue lands enter the field. You're just kind of like, Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, this is a hand. Um, we do have Divine Visitation and a sort of counterspell with Hypnotic Sprite, so we'll go and keep. Play an Island. Okay, opponent plays a Plains and a Law Rune Enforcer. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to play a, another Island and then just pass a turn. So is this like a White Weenie? I think I've seen these before. Devourer of Abyss. Okay, opponent swings in for one with his Law Rune Enforcer. Plays a Plains. And an Ajani's Pride Mate. Okay. See, that one I'm not enjoying quite as much. We'll go ahead and just play the Plains, pass turn, and maybe we can Hypnotic Sprite something. That's kind of our best play at this moment. Yeah. You're definitely getting countered. Lyndon. Lyndon B. Johnson over here. Okay, opponent swings in. 4 3. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is play Tranquil Cove and I'm going to play Hypnotic Sprite just to have a blocker. That's going to signal to the opponent that I don't have any counter spells, obviously, but um, it does make him have to make some choices like that. So what I'm going to do from here is play a Plains, and then I'm going to Gadwick for two. Let us Gadwick for two. That's cool. Gadwick for two, please. Yeah, can you take two tonight at, well, let's say nine o'clock? Oh, we're totally booked. Really? That's great. No, I said we are totally booked. Two at nine? Perfect. See you then. And then I'm just going to do no attacks. Or do I swing in? I think we should put some pressure on the opponents. 
he is a life gain deck so i'm sure he doesn't really give that much of a fuck but it is what it is the best part is i'm trying to get him to play more on the board that way i can time wipe although i do have ti two time wipes in hand so i could be a little greedy and just like do whatever swing in with everything okay so um what to do here let's go ahead and let's go and swing in with everything and then i'm just going to go ahead and time wipe play a tranquil cove I'll bring back Gadwick, so that way I can, you know, get some more card draw, but... Grateful Apparition, deals common edge player, proliferate. Okay, cool. That sounds fun. I'm going to play a... I don't really have a, anything to do with Divine Visitation yet, so... I wonder if this is something worth playing right now. Maybe I can just play it. I'm going to play Divine Visitation, that way when I do start getting some ways to make tokens, I guess. Is that dumb, control players? Control players, tell me what's up. Ah, it is dumb. Fuck you. Knight of Autumn's gonna destroy that. That's fine. I get him to play a Knight of Autumn thinking that that's, that was my like game plan here. I don't have any ways to make anything. I do have another fucking time wipe though, so that's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. All right, what, is there anything I want to bring back here though? Um, Time wipe if I wanted to with Mystic Sanctuary. I'm just gonna play a Tranquil Cove. And then I'm going to Gadwick for... Let's just Gadwick for two again. No, let's Gadwick for... Yeah. I'm down to just Gadwick for two. There's a lot of value in here. Because I might draw something that does cost two. Like a Callous Dismissal or an Opt. That's cool. Um, so we'll just pass the turn. And then I can always Mystic Sanctuary. Okay, creatures you control have Vigilance. You gain three life. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. All right, that's fine. To tap a eh? tap a tap a the night autumn, night of autumn. There we go. Okay, opponent swings in for two and proliferates. Normally that kind of sucks, but since we do have um, time wipe in hand, like not, I don't feel like it's too terrible um so what we'll go ahead and do is i think we can time wipe here yeah let's just go ahead and time wipe that is cool yeah bring gadwick back to hand and then what i'm going to do is just pass a turn that way i can Hypnotic Sprite, anything that he has that's like 3 CMC. Um, otherwise, I'll just Callous Dismissal next turn, I think, and maybe... Okay, I'm gonna cast that. Let's go ahead and Hypnotic Sprite that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Opponent's just gonna bump this up, gain 3 life. No, that's cool. I'm like not sweating that so much, I don't think. Um, what I want to do is be able to find a way to counter this. So I might need to Gadwick again. Let's see, purr, purr, purr. let's Gadwick for three this time. Three, one, two, three. Okay, uh, not quite what I was looking for, but I'll go ahead and play the Hollowed Fountain, I think. Let's see, yeah, play the Hollowed Fountain, but tapped. And then I will just pass for now. So if he does start playing creatures, I do have the ability to uh, Mystic Sanctuary, a time wipe back to the top of my hand. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, if he has another creature, I can Callous Dismissal and bump up Gadwick. So that's kind of my game plan. That's why I wanted to leave the mana up. Um, I could have also played Hallowed Fountain untapped and had enough mana for Essence Capture and a Hypnotic Sprite to add extra pressure, but, um, you know, try not to fuck around with that too much, especially with my life total, bring it down to 10, let's say. Um, we'll go ahead and Essence Capture that, give Gadwick plus one, plus one. Okay, 
opponent plays Loxodon. Okay, so I'm going to play an Island. And then I'm just going to Callous Dismissal the Loxodon. And opponent concedes. GG. Oh, you control players. You fucking control players. You guys got it good. Standard shakeup has ended. No! Any earned prizes have been awarded. Wow. They were just like, that's it. That seemed pretty anticlimactic. Okay, we'll go and keep this one, I think, because we do have some removal and a um, semi counter with Hypnotic Sprite. So um, we'll keep. Opponent plays a Blossoming Sands. I'm going to play a Tranquil Cove. Gain a life. Pass a turn. Let's hope this turn, this game plays a little bit differently. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and play an Island. Uh, we'll just pass a turn. What is Sentinel's Mark? Dragon's Battle Fate has to remain fate and change for Gigan's lifelink until I'm turned. Ooh. Spicy. I like it. Okay. Play an island. And we're just gonna pass the turn. That seems pretty dangerous. In the wrong hands. Um two more turns and we can realm cloak giant, so I think it should be okay. He will be gaining quite a bit of life, but you know, F it. Um Hmm, do I want him to cast that? That's a question. I don't want him to have too much. Do I? Yep, let's just go ahead and counter that. Might as well. That way I can have a reason to cast Hypnotic Sprite next turn. Ginger Brood, okay. Look at you wily characters. Now this is some jank right here. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to play an island. Do we Teferi? I think that might be a Teferi good idea. Who are you? I don't know. Womp womp. Did I break it? Alright, I'm gonna return the Sentinel's Mark. Draw card. So this turn I... It'll be cool because then I do have to make him play the Sentinel's Mark. He's got three. Plays another Ginger Brute. That's fine. And uh, probably one is gonna go toward Teferi, I'm assuming. There we go. So I take four from Paradise Druid. He has another three. It's kind of annoying, but I'm already at that point where I can cast um, cast off, so not as big of a deal. Let's go and just do that. And then pass the turn. Q, Q, Q. Alright, so I have six, potentially six mana available here. Uh, but I might just play this tapped. I don't believe I need it for anything right now. I'm going to end the turn. I have a negate and a no escape in hand, so I can counter anything spicy he might have. Um, but it looks like I got a lot of his action off the board, so my turn. Play an island, and I'm just going to go ahead and swing in with Spectral Sailor. Come down there, play a Hypnotic Sprite, and just end the turn. Still able to cast both of my counter spells with the amount of mana I have up. Go negate that. And then if he's got a creature, no escape that. And then concession! Woo! Oh my god. Control decks. This is what you guys do. This is why you guys love it. This is why you guys fucking love control. I get it now. This is so funny. Alright folks, we are playing some Azorius control in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, this is kind of my version of it since I don't have a lot of the cards. Um, I have a lot of one ofs, um, but not full sets of the cards yet. So it's kind of like an interesting, maybe janky version of Control. We can go ahead and keep this. We have Teferi and um, Dawn of Hope. Kind of part of our game plan is to use Dawn of Hope and Divine Visitation as like our combo. We're we'll gonna keep this, we got removal too. So, you know, if the opponent floods the board, um, we have a way to reset it plays a Tranquil Cove, so he could be on Azorius Flyers, or I could just be in a uh, control matchup. But either way, um, I like my chances. Okay, looks like it is Flyers. 
Cool, cool. I need to be a little bit smarter about um, playing against flyers. Learn my lesson the hard way. Counter their pump spells. Okay, opponent plays winged words, draws two, plays an island, and a fairy miscreant. Okay, cool. Swings in for two, take it. Um, I will go ahead and play a castle. And I think we're just going to pass here. Let's see what we do here. I think we callous dismissal the healer's hawk. We get a 1-1. He has to spend another turn. At least that way we kind of stifle his life gain plan. Then turn four, I can <clears throat> time raveler something. Time raveler's healer's hawk if I need to. Take two. Okay. I'll go ahead and play and we'll play a mystic sanctuary. And I can also play Teferi. We'll return Healer's Hawk. There we go. And um, yeah, sure. Why not attack? Attack with our little zombie army. Army of one. Now he's going to have to send one toward Teferi if he wants to destroy it. And, um, and then he's got three other creatures. He probably has like a pump spell or maybe an Empyrean Eagle, I want to say. Oh, maybe not. So it just goes four to the face. That's cool. Absolutely cool with that. I'm going to go ahead and play a Plains. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and Teferi right here. We'll swing in for one. And uh, we'll just end the turn. I have a feeling he's saving a counter spell for me. So what we'll go ahead and do is Realm Cloak Giant. Then the opponent will have some creatures to cast. He probably doesn't know that I have two more board wipes. I'll go ahead and play the Plains. And a Dawn of Hope. We'll do a Dawn of Hope. Yep, sure. And I will Teferi once again. Let's end the turn. Holding up a counter spell just in case he has like an Empyrean Eagle or I suppose even another rally would be kind of annoying. Um, do I want to do anything about this? He gets two Thopters. That's kind of annoying, but I don't know if it's something worth screwing with. Yeah, let's just go and destroy it, make and mill him. So he probably is holding up like a negate, I want to say. If he plays a untapped land, there we go. So, swing into my Teferi. That was uncalled for. Play a island, and yes, control strikes again. That is so funny. That is so funny. People are just like, I'm done, done with your ass. I haven't been able to use my divine visitation combo yet, though. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Is this a keep? I can't tell. Um, I do have a counter spell and a way to disrupt. I suppose we can just keep it and just hope and pray to draw into some land. Give me the divine visitation this game. I'm going to go and play a Castle Arvindale and uh, pass a turn. See what the opponent has. Did he just time out? Opponent plays an island. I am also going to play an island and then just pass a turn. I need to draw some lands here. The opponent ops. Is this the control matchup that I was looking for? Is it control? Play planes. And yep, we'll just go and pass the turn. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Pass on that shit. Okay, opponent plays a Temple Epiphany. Scries to the top. Play a Plains, and uh, I do need another blue mana to be at all useful here. Luckily, if we do draw another land, I can time wipe. Okay, let's play a Plains. Um, not really a big deal, time wiping, but good thing is we can start Castle Arvindaling at the end of the opponent's turn. That's fine. Okay, opponent Ops. Resolve. Can't do shit about that. I need to draw another blue mana, I want to say. So I will be able to callous dismissal his Brineborn Cutthroat. OK. 
Okay. Um, what I will go ahead and do is opt. Let's opt. There we go. Ip bip cheerio. This is what I'm looking for. And um, yeah, we'll just hold this up, and I'll just keep chump blocking, I guess, until forever. He's still only going to be able to swing in with his 4-3 at this point. Make a Pumin token. Chump block his Cutthroat. Then he's going to cast a Rowl. Okay. Rowl. When it scries. I'm pretty happy that he tapped out. Um, because that does mean I can start, you know, just kind of messing with him. We will go ahead and Realm Cloak Giant. Yes, yes. Let's go ahead and Realm Cloak Giant. Get rid of his cutthroats. Um, he does have this, which is kind of dangerous because he can scry. He can copy spells. Um, I may have to callous dismissal that and then just if I can get some counter spells maybe. All right, so we play an island. I'm definitely sure he has quenches. I know is it plays quenches. What other spells do they play though? I think we play hypnotic sprite and um, I can force a counter out of his hand by playing callous dismissal. We'll just end the turn. I can start playing some 1-1s one here. Opponent scries with Rao. Scries to the top. I'm trying to figure out my best lines to destroy this. Mm, can I do anything about that? I can't, huh? Okay. So he bone crushes me. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and create a 1-1. One -one. Then we are going to Callous Dismissal this bad boy. <clears throat> and then we can Hypnotic Sprite, whatever his counter spell is, I guess. Ionize. Quench me, baby, one more time. We'll just go ahead and end the turn here. So if he casts Ral again, then I can no escape. Right? Yeah, let's just counter that. And then if he has like a quench or something like that, then I can hypnotic sprite. Oh no, I can't hypnotic sprite that. But he does have to count he does have to play a counter spell in order to get that on the board. So that's fine. <clears throat> Opponent scries. Scries one to the bottom. Um I'm going to cast actually first thing I'm gonna do is swing into his RAL, I guess. I guess there's no better time than now to play Divine Visitation so I can start using my castle to make 4-4 four, four tokens. And there you go. Damn it! I didn't get to get an angel out though. I didn't get it. Okay. I want to get... I want to combo off. I want to get the angels out. We've got to get one Divine Visitation trigger. Okay, we are playing some more Azorius Control and Standard, um, and I'm trying to get Divine Visitation and Dawn of Hope online, or Divine Visitation and Castle Arvindale, but um, no dice so far. We're just getting the opponents to concede, which is also fun, and I really understand now why control players love playing Control so much. Um, we can go and keep this one, because we do have two counter spells, Soft Removal and Draw. So keep, play an Island, and I'll pass a turn. And then at the end of opponent's turn, we can opt. Okay, opponent plays an overgrown tomb. Going to opt now. Um, we do need the land, so yeah, we're going to keep that. Control decks, love of the land. Play another island. End the turn. When I played Vampire of the Dire Moon last turn, Death Touch Lifelink. That sounds terrible. I wonder if this is that Death Touch tribal deck. I will play a Plains, and we'll just go and pass the turn. I have a few counter spells in hand, so if this is the worst he can do for a few turns, we're hopefully pretty set. 
Okay, opponent swings in with the vampire. That's the turn once again. And uh, yeah, just keep letting him swing in. I'm on an 18 turn clock, so not too much fun. Not too much fun stuff going on, but maybe we can get our combo online. We will play an island, and um, I guess we can just... Do we just prison realm? I bet this is that death touch tribal shit. Let's just go ahead and prison realm this. Is that is that stupid? It's stupid, but I think we just wait. Honestly, I'll get a mystic sanctuary out and then I can prison realm and hold up a counter. I don't know what the game plan for the opponent is. I really feel like he does have, if this is that death touch tribal deck, then he's wanting to like <clears throat> cast a creature. Yeah, but a hundred percent is. Okay, so let's um, just go ahead and counter that. Sure, why not? This is so goofy. Opponent swings in for one with the vampire. Drains me for one. Then I'm just going to opt. This is going to be a very interesting game. Um, I don't need any more lands, so I'll just go and see what we can draw off the top. All right. More lands. Just go and Mystic Sanctuary? No. We'll play Plains. And, um, sure, why not? Do I just hold this up? Yeah, we'll play Hypnotic Sprite. He's gonna use something to destroy it, which is fine. Super goofy. End the turn. I think, like, in a turn or two, I'll just go ahead and Prison Realm this so he stops gaining life at least. But I think since we know kind of what we're facing here, I'm not, like, super worried. Go and block. Actually, no. No blocks. He has that like first strike spell that pumps. I think he has like rabid bite so he can fight with my creature. Another cool spell. Uh, yeah, we'll negate that. Not having no Vraskas here. Play an island. I think we'll just prison realm so we can scry. This is really crazy to me. Prison realm that. I just want to get something. There we go. That is exactly what I was looking for. Go and swing in for two. And the turn. And we've got a couple of counter spells in hand, so if he does want to cast like something juicy, he can hopefully take care of that. Counter that shit. Yep, Storm Strike, that's the one. Okay, opponent plays a Blood Crypt tapped. Huh. Do I want another opt or do I want to get one of my counter spells back? I'm going to go ahead and. I guess I'll opt, put that on top, and just Gadwick for like a million. Go and swing in for two with our Hypnotic Sprite. Then I'm just going to Gadwick for five. Yeah, let's Gadwick for five. Refill the old hand. Oh, you control players. You guys knew what you were doing, huh? You guys knew damn well what you were doing. Okay, there's Divine Visitation. Is this the game? Is this the game, guys? When we're going to be able to finally start playing? He's going to like creature slash whatever the fuck. That's fine. Totally fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. We will play an island. Let's go ahead and opt first. I just want to see what we've got. Do I want to counter spell? I want to try to get into my combo as fast as possible. We need like a Dawn of Hope. Castle Arvindale. There we go. All right, boys. We've got this shit. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and play Divine Visitation. We're going to swing into Vraska. Take her down to one. So she can't make any more of these. This thing will get plus one plus one but i don't have any planeswalkers so that's like not that big of an issue let me divine visitation just once though oh i am gonna love tearing this place to the ground now see that is pretty scary actually not gonna lie i do need to draw into like a planar cleansing but um you know i'm not sweating it right at this moment we'll play a castle arvindale and Let's see, I need one, two, three, four, and a hypnotic sprite. No, 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 no,
and the turn. So from here, season of growth. Okay, um, that is something we do want to counter. I don't want him getting card draw. These decks get super out of hand with season of growth because of course he's going to target something with that. But two plus one plus one counters on that. That's cool. My my, how you've grown. Pass the attackers. We'll go ahead and create a four four. He's probably got some like rabid bite bullshit or something like that. Whatever you can cast, and that's fine. Um, reason being is because I'm gonna time wipe next turn anyway, so so we will play a planes. Then I'm going to yeah have enough to angel. So we'll go ahead and time wipe. Then end the turn. Then I can start casting my little angel tokens, hopefully, at the end of the opponent's turn. Okay. Valmire Knight. I'd get out of the way if I were. Hee -hee. Oh shit. Why didn't I get a trigger? Oh fuck me. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, we are going to Teferi. First. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Turn this to hand. That's fine. I'm an idiot. I don't know why. I didn't angel here. That might have been that was a huge misplay, huge misplay on my part. I could have taken out Vivian at this point. Okay, opponent cast that. I think we just counter this, right? Yeah, let's counter that Falmire Knight. He doesn't have a creature now. There we go. Cast attackers. Now I can cast Larvendale. Let's go. Swing in, kill his Vivian. We're doing it. We are finally freaking doing it. Play a Tranquil Cove, and let's just um, to ferry up plus one, end the turn. And I think that might be it. Yes, yes, we did it. Divine Visitation. We're always watching. Good shit. All right, control players, I know what's up now. I know what's up. All right, so overall, my kind of like first, pretty much first time playing like control was super fun. I really get it. Like I understand like the appeal of control now. I'm sure I had like millions of misplays just being kind of like a newbie control player, but this deck was really fun. Um, I love everything like from the interaction. It's very different than when you're playing mid range and when you're playing aggro, like you just kind of let people get all this confidence and then you just fucking tear it down like either with your time wipes your planar cleansings or you get a giant hand to the face um and then you finally just like beat down with um you know like your finishers overall this deck has been super fun i definitely recommend it if you guys are interested in playing control and you haven't played it before try it out i've had so much hate for control players and i still kind of do like this is still something that i probably won't be playing too much but um it was super fun so thank you guys so much for catching the vid really really appreciate it and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below. And to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.